Hello my little butterfly eyes, and today's video is going to be my review on Little Peach by Peggy Kern. Guys, this book was amazing. So as you can see, I picked between Little Peach and So Sad Today. It wasn't easy, it still wasn't easy, but I wanted to read, actually finish another book before the month was up, so I decided to do Little Peach. Y'all, this, it was good. It was good, okay? Um... I didn't like it as much as I thought I was like I thought I was gonna love it but I liked it it was okay I gave it a three out of five stars so um, let me tell you guys what this book is about first of all I heard about this book from Barbara from chapter Barbara and I'll link her channel down below she's a fairly new booktuber and you guys basically this book is about this girl named Michelle and she tr struggles in this family where her mother is addicted to drugs. So her mother isn't there all the time. Her grandpa took care of her, but then one day I think her grandpa had like a heart attack and he died. No, he had cancer. He had cancer and he died. So that left her with her drug addict mother who was not trying to get better. She was getting worse and getting worse. So um, originally she lived in Philly and she decided to run off to New York because one of her friends that she grew up with in Philly gave her an address before she left and said that she found her and her roommate was moving into these apartments in New York and that she should come and visit one day. When she got there, she had no idea where these apartments were. She met this strange man in, in at the bus station and he said he would help her. He did take her to the address, but the address that she had, it was pretty much for the ghetto. It was a thousand buildings, and she didn't have an apartment number. The girl who gave her the street number, the name of the apartments, but she didn't have an apartment number, so it was no way she was finding her. She had no idea what apartment she was in. So this wonderful, nice guy decides that he's going to help her. He's going to take her home, and he's going to feed her, and clothe her, and take care of her, because she doesn't need to be out by herself. And she's going to stay there with him and his two roommates. She's 14 in this book. And this is a brown ass man. Okay. Picking up girls at the bus stop. So you can see where this is going. Okay. So he takes her home and he has two female roommates. Okay. Roommates. Females. And when she gets there, they aren't there. He said, and it's night time. He says, they work at night. And that, you know, she'll be sharing a room with one of them, but the other one shares the room with him. A.K.A. his bottom bitch. So, <laughs> this guys, it's just, it's, it was good. But you got to hear the naiveness of young people, the girls that young. And I wasn't that young, I'm that naive, that young, but I know it happens. I wasn't in that situation, so it could be different. He tries to tell her that they're a family and, you know, they help each other and they, they're there for each other. And one day they're going to have a house and, you know, they're not going to have to do things they do anymore. So he gets her into prostitution, a.k.a. his ass is a pimp, okay? Did y'all see all the signs and you know your spider senses was tingling, right? Because mine was tingling the whole book and I'm like, her dumb ass is going to go with him. Now me personally at 14, I wasn't that stupid. I don't think I was that stupid younger than 14. I knew better than to go to str go with strangers, okay? At that and go to your house and think you're going to take care of me and believe everything you say. But at the same time, I didn't grow up in that environment. You know, I didn't. I didn't have that environment. None of my parents were drug addicts. Um, I had people, I had a big family, people that care about me. It wasn't just, you know, me and my mom and somebody else. I had uncles and grandparents in the house with me. And I had brothers and sisters and siblings and cousins. I had family. So I didn't grow up in this environment. I, didn't, I never felt not loved by my mother. So I didn't. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have, my situation is not her situation, you know, so I can't say that maybe if I grew up in that situation, I'll probably do the same thing. I can't say that for sure, because I don't know, but that's basically what this book is about, and it follows her through this journey, I guess, through this lifestyle, and what I liked about this book was that we finally see the point of view of a prostitute. And you know, in a lot of books, they mention prostitutes, but you don't actually see things from their point of view. And we got to see exactly how 
her home life led her into the life of being a working girl at 14 years old. Because all the time you see stuff like that and you wonder why, you know, what is wrong with people? Like why are they not out looking for their children and 12 year olds and 14 year olds and, and why, why, why are they not looking for their kids? You know, what are the kids doing out there? What was so bad that they had to run away from home and run into this life? Why did they accept this life? And this book explains exactly what's the, why stuff like that happens and how they are manipulated into staying into this life because he painted this perfect picture like there was a family he set up everything right to where if she left she would be afraid for this one and what would happen to this person and she knew she had nowhere else to go so he set everything up each point to where she would not run away because she didn't want to leave this one and she knew she had nowhere else to go, so she didn't know where she was going because she wasn't from New York, she was from Philly. She didn't know. They made her scared to go to hospitals and like to social to social services because they painted this picture of being in a group home was terrible. And I, like I said, I don't know about that either. I've never been in a group home. I've never been to an orphanage. I've never been up for adoption. So I don't know what that life is like. But I know that all group homes and all, you know, adopted families aren't bad. So, but they painted this picture like, bad shit was going, terrible shit was going to happen to her if they, if, you know, somebody found them out and took them, and her life was just going to be ruined like it already wasn't. Like, I've never read a book like this before, as in from a prostitution perspective, or from someone that has been, you know, just someone that's been kidnapped or someone, you know, like, you hear stories about it all the time, but you never read it from their perspective, and I'm glad I finally did read a book from that point of view, because it kind of makes you, it opens your mind, and it kind of makes you understand how these young girls are manipulated, you know, and sold dreams that they know will never come true. The only issue that I had with this book is how it ended. Even though, you know, I know in real life you don't always get you know, you don't always know what happens to these girls. You, you you never know if this one is okay or what happened to this one. You never know. But for the sake of the book, I would have liked to know exactly how things went down instead of left on a note of wonder. Like what happened to Michelle and the other characters, you know, like if did, did these people get caught, did anyone get in trouble? Like, you know, I would have liked to know for the sake of the book, even though I know for real, for real, in real life, a lot of times you never know exactly what happens to the characters. Like, well, to the people. You never know in real life. Exactly. Some people you'll know, but some people you never know. Because once, you know, the police are alerted, they clear out everything. Like, these men, they're not stupid. Once the police are alerted, they clear out everything and, and move. They, they, they change places. So, you never know where they are, what happens. And it's heart-wrenching. Because it's like, it's a lot of young girls out there that are going through the same thing Michelle went through out there. 14. One of the characters in this book was 12. 12 years old it's crazy and reading this you see how deep these ties go like not just pimps and hoes it's pimps children they have doctors on the payroll it's depending on where you're at they have they, how do these people have a whole hotel to run this stuff out of so you know it must mean they had like police officers under their belts too so that made girls like scared to go to anybody because you don't know who knows who it makes you really feel bad. It, re it really makes you want to do research on like child trafficking and stuff now. Like this brings back to memory this movie I saw on Lifetime a while ago. Where it's more like a documentary but it was like a movie too. It was like three hours. Um, You know, I wasn't working yet, so I was just chilling at home, doing whatever. You know, I worked summer camp during the summer, but I didn't have anything tough to deal with at 14 years old. Like this. It's ridiculous. Because then when you think about it, she was 14 when this happened, meaning she never even got to finish school. So it's like, like whatever character is based on, because I know um, Peggy, she, um, in her 
in her like about the author kind of section of the book. You know, that's in the back. She, um, well, yeah, in the back of the book, she says, you know, she actually talked to two girls and she hoped they did their stories justice. So I don't know if this specifically based on one person, but it's like I would like to know, like, if this girl got out of that life, like, it's gonna be really hard for her, you know, to to do a lot because she doesn't even have like a high school education at all. Like you might as well said her education stopped in the eighth grade. Cause, but it really makes you think, oh, oh, another thing I found out, not reading the actual book, but the actual back flat for the book. It says she wrote two books for the Blue for series. Have you guys ever read any books from the, the Blue for High series? If y'all haven't, like, where have y'all been? I don't know if a lot of people have heard of them, but we used to read them a lot in school. Like, we read a good chunk of them. We read maybe, I think, like, four or five of them throughout while we was in school. Like, I don't think my ground, I want to say middle school, <laughs> we read the Blooper series. But the Blooper series, I think, has 51 fucking books. 51 or 31. One of those, I might be overshooting it, but I think it's like 31. But guys, I want to get the Blooper series, the box set, the, it's 31, the box set is $50. That's what I was getting 50 from. I love the Blooper series, it's really good, it's really good topics, like it's really good for children to read because we read them in school. So if they're school approved, you know, the topics are like real life stuff, like, like it's tough topics, but you know, I guess they make them to where it's not anything that a school will ban them, you know, for being like vulgar, I guess you could say, or whatever. But they handle tough ass topics and real life damn lessons. So Blue for Series is really good. I wanna get that because I wanna read all of the books. And I think that's something really good to have to, to, to where, you know, I can share with Kalea when she gets older, like old enough to read them because like they're chapter books. So maybe when she gets in like, you know, around like fifth grade, sixth grade level, maybe even fourth grade level, she can read them. Cause you know, fourth grade, you know, you read chapter books too. But you know, I don't wanna give them to her too soon. And she doesn't appreciate them because you know, like a, a book meant for an older audience, if you give them to a younger child, they won't really hang on to the information because they're, they're not going through the stuff and they're not understanding what's, what, why or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it to her too soon and she doesn't really hang on to the information. But the blooper series was the bomb. If y'all read the blooper series, y'all should comment in the comments below and let me know if y'all read. I'm pretty sure this review is gonna be long as shit and majority of it is me telling y'all what the book was about versus me actually explaining this. So I'm sorry if this if this video was long for the video. I gave it a three out of five stars. Um, I had a little problem with it, like actually, like really pulling me in all the way. Like certain things about it just didn't have me all the way. So I did give it a three out of five stars. I liked it, but I didn't love it. It was like all right, you know, it was okay. It was a good read. It's good enough for me to recommend it. You know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was good. So it, it, it'll interest you, but it wasn't something that really gripped my attention all the way, like a hundred percent. So. I guess that makes more sense. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Three, two, one. We're going, we're going.